on, buddy. Well, at this moment in time, mate, listen, you're under arrest, mate, for obstruction of drug search, all right? How can you arrest him for that? This is some bullshit. Mate, you're fucking ripping my clothes. Mate, you're you're under arrest. You're ripping my clothes. You're fucking ripping my clothes. Mate, you move. Mate, you're fucking ripping my clothes, man. Take it. Mate, get him on the floor. You're under arrest for obstruction of drug search. Trying to shut man down again, you know. I'm trying to shut man down again, blood. How we doing, guys? Myself, Chris Pretty OBE here, and you with a quick one. Real talk, true season. Now, this is a kind of deeper one, and I want to big up and respect to Fecky. Um, he broke down some stuff and it's so true what he's saying in the sense of young people when they're growing up, a lot of them are fearful. A lot of them are fearful. No one doesn't want to die. No one doesn't really want to stab someone. No one doesn't really want to shoot someone. Like It's the whole ammunition in the sense of, you know, you're pretending to be someone that you're really not. And I remember there was a time when I used to be in my area and everything, and I was pretending to be this black man. I was pretending to be like running around, not pretending because I was actually doing it, but that wasn't who I wanted to be. That wasn't, like, I forced that character. I forced that out of me in a sense of, because that's what the role said that I had to be like. And there's so much of these young people that get caught up and they're not even realizing that they're getting caught up. And before you know it, they're catching cases. Before you know it, like, even Fecky said that he got punched in the air and he was just like, yeah, never again. I remember one time I got pushed down one by one of my oldest, man's barling. <laughs> I was like, dickhead, dick, dickhead. I walked home and I was like, raw, never again, bro. Never again is man gonna mug me off. So all the time I walked around like with like a little tool, a little like screwdriver and all these kind of mad stuff because I was like, I'm never gonna get mugged off again. And that can start spiraling out of control before like, you know it, you're just deep, deep, deep into the game. But check out what Fecky's got to say. A scared person is a dangerous person. Yeah. I'll tell that from now. A lot of these kids that are doing stuff to each other yeah. are scared. Oh, I'd yeah, say yeah. That's all a fact. The time. Yeah, yeah, they're coming that's out and it's like you're coming to the house and it's like you're it's like it's like you're coming out feeling like I'm not gonna be a victim. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or the guy that will punch you in your head and run. Yeah. Yeah. Very dangerous guy as well. Yeah. Because the dangerous people, the people some people will say to me, Oh like they'll put a, a oh, not now, a tattoo on me before, like he's watch out he's a bit like on it or whatever. It's better that. It's better you know what I'm on. Straight away, you know, okay, cool, this is a the problem, there you go. But I feel like a lot of the society today is very paired pressured into being people that they're not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm not blaming, I don't know, I can't, because people try and put it to music, put it, like, that's, I don't agree with that. Yeah. I, I, I always go to, because I, again, I know people always talk about uh, music makes people do this and that yeah. or whatever, yeah. And for me personally, like, I always just go to the village for me because yeah. I, I always say all the time that for me, that like my parents could have sat and said all of the things that a parent is supposed to say. But when I'm out in the village and I see like my olders, my olders on the exactly, estate, yeah. my, like other people that yeah. I'm around or whatnot, to me, they're cool. Yeah. And they are people that I relate and to and because we're be like and I want to be like that. that. Like so Same whatever thing. them man is on, mm -hmm. then I'm on. Exactly. Yeah. Me, I have both parents. I, I've, everyone's always about both parents. This and that. I understand that having an imbalanced upbringing. I mm -hmm. get that. Mm -hmm. Don't ever get twisted. But there's a doctor that's had a, a, an, an an imbalanced upbringing. Yeah, that's true. There's I don't know a lot of these big rappers. But it's talented that you put together has had unbalanced. But I honestly, honestly believe that. Growing up here, like you honestly have to take thought for a lot of stuff you do because me on paper I shouldn't be I shouldn't be now I'm the person that I always wa was meant to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I always was very knowledgeable. I always was very attentive. I always was. I'm always been a leader. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying. But I feel like I came into the world of trying to be in that world mm -hmm. be someone in that world mm -hmm. like that's like with my son like one of them he likes painting art and stuff mm -hmm. he's not really in he don't like drill mm -hmm. my other son does but i push them into what they want to be yeah because we was always thought we was i remember my first i swear to god i remember when i came out yeah my first fight i got punched in my ear my ear's still hard now yeah mm. i was like about 10 or something nine yeah and i remember saying to myself walking back saying nah never ever again in my life you know what I'm saying? The guy who done it, I forgave him. He's my bedroom now. Mm. But that one punch started a whirlwind of yeah. madness. There was yeah. so much man that probably watching this thinking, wow, like, that's what turned you. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel for me, he just broke it down. And it was so nice to hear men like himself 
Um, it's nice to hear an influencer, a rapper, someone that's actually come from a demographic and a background and own it and be like, you know what? I remember there was times where I got caught up and I wasn't that guy. I remember there was times that like there was many bad men out there. There's many bad men out there still now that don't want to be a bad man, don't want to be on road. You want to live a good life. you got kids now, big man. You're starting to see your daughter. You're sitting at home doing tea parties. Let's keep you real, real. You know one's there. Like You're watching all of these kind of little um, cartoons and everything that you thought you would never watch. But you're doing all of that with your daughter, with your son. And you're trying to be a father. But at the same time, feeling that you have to live a certain life. And it just scares me and worries me that the fact that it's okay for a lot of our man them to step up and say, Do you know what? Man was scared. And I can say 100% say 80% of the time or 70% of the time when I was in situations when I was growing up I was scared a couple of times when I got robbed I was scared like the guy had a knife like what do you mean why wouldn't I be scared there's a couple of times guns a couple of times boy them you're running away from pl like of course you're going to be scared this is not a nice life a lot of people see that the road life like it's a nice life when you're sitting in the bando sitting in the trap when you're you know selling to drugs selling drugs to um crackheads and heroin addicts and they're trying to fight you they're trying to stick needles and like it's not a nice game you know you're always looking over your shoulder you got to watch out for the other man from the across the way because he's shot and you're on he's patching you're got to watch out for the other gang members that are coming and trying to infiltrate you got to watch out for boy them then you got to watch out that your mum's not watching and rare rare because you got to keep your eye on the ball because you're trying to play it off like you're a sweet boy to mum there's so much things that's going on so sometimes you get that little um, burst or element of smoking and chilling out and busting bare champagne and going out raving and having an odd watch and having an odd chain but that's just a fragment of the small bits and pieces of road that people see all the time and they think it's great. A lot of the time it's horrible. A lot of the times you're by yourself. A lot of the times you're running around like feeling like you have to defend yourself on every single person that you see. So I just like want to big up um, Fecky and them man for speaking up about you know certain situations growing up and saying when I look back at it now, that's not who I wanted to be. So young people out there, I know that you're feeling like it's hard. I know that you're feeling like it's testing. I know that you're feeling like there's times when you're like, well, Chris, what do I do? What, what do you want me to do in certain situations? I want you to think first. I want you to think and say, I am better. I am great and I deserve it. We're going to be doing also the Unapologetic March this Sunday. This Sunday, we're going to be in Camden, 2 p.m. So we are all going to be there, guys. Every single one of you. You guys right at right now, man, them, you keep talking about, oh, I'm going to message you, message me, Chris. I'm messaging you. I'm getting DMing you. Everybody, Unapologetic March this Sunday, Camden, 2 p.m. We're going to be down there representing and making sure that we're standing up for our young people. The 27th of this month, we're going to be doing the Zoom as well for men, making sure that there's a safe place for us to talk. A lot of us, man, them talking about these kind of issues right now where we're not able to sit down and reason and say how we really, really feel. So each month we're going to be doing um, basically a Zoom, so basically a Zoom meeting, Zoom conference, whatever you want to call it, basically we're saying you good, are you good fam? So we're going to be reaching out to the man them every single month. If you want to be part of it, just DM me. It's the 27th of this month. I will send you the Zoom link. Make sure you get down onto it. It's going to be 8.30 p.m. on the Thursday. And let's man them start talking and reasoning. I would love to get a couple of man them out there as well. So if you know any celebrities, any influencers, Sideman, Fecky, um, Akala, anybody that wants to be a part of this, please add them in. Please add people in because we want men to start reasoning. We want men to start talking so we can get them from being boys to men then also to gentlemen. Myself, Chris Pretty OBE. Let's make a difference, guys. Join the village.